everyone this is Kiri with um, another layout for Bramble Fox. This is my second layout using the lovely February Fox Box and on this layer I'm using the black authentic um, title, the little red perspective heart and those cute um, etched uh, love heart envelopes. Okay so I've got a white cardstock background and I pulled out a number of pattern papers from the Simple Stories Say Cheese app park collection for pretty obvious reasons because you can see my photo is um, of me and my old Disney store team um, with Mickey. We all went on a um, Disney cruise uh, last year, um, a bit of a reunion really. Um, we'd all worked together for crikey sort of between 12 and 17 years. So um, it was a really, really lovely way of sort of getting back together. And of course, we had to have a photo with Mickey. Um, I mean, we've had so many over the years, um, you know, it, but it never gets boring. We, we you know, we love it. So um, here we go. I'm just sort of using um, different uh, pattern papers to create a sort of angular ground and then I've just got a white area here down the bottom that I'm going to use for the title and my journaling. So I've distressed all the edges and I'm just lifting all of those up as you can see um, and then I'm just sort of working where my photo is going to sit and then the title. So um, I'm pulling out one of the fox cut st um, stencils. This is one of the older ones. It's number 28 called Fireworks, and I really love it, actually. And I thought it was sort of perfect. It sort of um, worked really well with the papers I was using and just, you know, our, um, and the photo. So I've pulled out Distress Oxide in black suit, and I'm just adding three of the fireworks to um, the white um, area there. I do decide, I'm sort of playing around. I'm wondering whether I should add some more and um, I'm sort of working out whether I should add a few. Yep, I nearly start to go there. Um, but then I decide to leave it and I'm, I'm glad I did actually because it worked well for when where I end up having the title and then my journaling. So I'm just going to mount my photo. I've pulled out a couple of pattern papers there, but I do end up with this really nice sort of rainbow stripey one. I just felt it added a bit of a pop of colour, um, particularly as the photo sits over on the black paper on the left there. So I just like the way how that's set up from that. Of course, I'm distressing those edges. How could I not? And um, then I can get that stuck down. I've pulled in the um, one of the stickers, this border sticker here, and I'm just wondering whether I can add that in as a little bit of extra detail there. And, it, and I like how it looks here under the black. But when I continue it, and you'll see in just a moment at the top, I wasn't quite sure that it worked because it sits over the red spot and it just it looked too much. So I'm sort of I'm going to try it here. Um, but it just isn't right, it sort of almost gets a bit lost, but I figure actually it'd be quite nice to add a pop of black down over here under the white pattern paper, and that works really well. So I'm happy with that, brings a bit of black over to that right side. Um, I'm just gonna add some sticky foam to the top of the photo, and then I'll just, um, and it'll stick flat on the bottom. Um, I tend to like to do that, mainly because if I'm building up any clusters and things like that around the photo, um, often it's around that bottom area, so they just, they sort of stick well. Though not quite the case here, because I do add a cluster to the top left of the photo. Bringing in the trusty T-square to make sure it is um, absolutely straight, of course. And um, then I can actually start to um, build up the um, decorative elements. So bring in the, now I really do only have the sticker sheet with this collection. So, um, but I have a load of other sort of Disney embellishments that honestly I've collected over the years and I've sort of hoarded them. It's one of the things, I do clear out my stash reasonably regularly, but the, the Disney elements I have tended to keep because you know, I worked for the Disney store for 23 years. So I, you know, I have lots of photos and I figured that they'll always come in use. So, but I'm certainly, firstly, I'm just pulling out the stickers here and working out which ones I'm going to use. Obviously had to use that sort of half Mickey head, um, but I did just mat it onto um, the red, the dotty pattern paper. Um, I've got the little string of um, sort of coloured lights, the little hats, really just a random, I'm just sort of placing them, figuring out which ones I think will work. 
um, and where will they go? So they don't all end up in those places, but I'm just really sort of playing around with which ones would work with my photo um, because the collection is quite focused on being at the park. Um, so not all of them will work quite as well for me. So I'm just really playing around here. And then I will have a bit more of a play around and you'll see that off camera because Otherwise, it takes me ages figuring out where things are going to go. So what I'm doing with the stickers, because I'm just working with stickers, I'm actually just using an anti-static bag just to take the stick off them. Um, and that way I can get the, I can sort of lift them. Even if I'm putting them flat, I can lift and curl the edges, etc. So I'm just doing that with all of them um, before I start um, using them. And I think I'm going to move on in a moment and let's... There we go. Yes. Now, I did get a bit carried away at this point. I nearly forgot I had to video when I started sticking everything down and then went, oh, normally I put the place it and then I'll start to work out and come back and show you what I've stuck. So, unfortunately, I stuck down the, the, the elements on the right side, but you can pretty much see the things that I pulled out. I added those really cute little perspective um, uh, love heart envelopes into that cluster on the right. And now I'm sort of working with this cluster on the left. Now, this one, I really struggled with I just wasn't getting it it was just I was just happy with things and I really played around a lot with this bit so I will do this off camera shortly um, but what I will do is I I pulled out these little Mickey head buttons from my stash now honestly they must be crikey 10 plus years old um, but you know what here they go I've got three of them onto this layout so and I'm just adding a little um, decorative cluster to that bottom right as well so there's one of the red Mickey buttons um, that I'll add there. And then I think I'm going to, that fun, I keep playing around with it, and but it actually doesn't make the final cut in the end. It, um, doesn't, it doesn't stay there. So here we go. Still trying to work out this cluster, but I'm just, I'm going to stick down that um, Mickey head button and then I'm going to take it off camera and just have a play. So here we go. I finally got it. Um, where I wanted and I added the little red perspective heart to that top left cluster. I'm bringing in some little sort of foam black dots um, just playing around with working out where they're going to sit and as usual they get moved around quite a lot um, but here we go some to the bottom and I just stuck with the black just adding that bringing in the pop of black because I've got the black title actually so I quite liked um, adding in the pop of black to each of the clusters. I am just sticking them down with a bit of glossy accents because they're not particularly sticky so I wanted to make sure they were nice and secure. Um, oh yeah nearly there nearly there Oh, that last one. I can't quite decide, decide, but finally managed to make a decision. And um, then we can move on. Oh, that's right. I looked at these word stickers. I should have looked at it before I started sticking the the, the little um, the foam dots down because I could have added probably some of them into the clusters. But anyway, it was fine. I, I played around a lot, as you can see, and I've got a couple here. One says, gang's all here, meeting the mouse and never too old so i i actually end up with the two of them down the bottom there um the gangs all here and meeting the mouse and i just stick get them stuck into that um bottom tri cluster at the bottom triangle and then the never too old i'm just going to add a little bit of foam pad behind it and then stick that just tuck that in under the photo so that just worked fine and i think then Next, what am I going to do next? I think I start to look at my title. Um, yes, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm bringing in you some alphas here. And I really play around with a number of different types of alphas. I was starting, I was going to use the one and only authentic Mickey Mouse. And I was going to use different colours. And I'm playing around here with this sort of soft colour. But it just... It, then I, I pull that off and I think I start, I try another smaller alpha, um, a little pink for a studio alpha and with the different sort of tealy colours. But I just, it wasn't quite working for me. I just couldn't, I don't know, it was, something wasn't quite right. So I go, I take it off camera to look at all the different alphas I've got because I've got quite a lot. And I ended up with this one. It's a doodle bug alpha and I just call it the the authentic Mickey Mouse. So that was sort of perfect for what my photo was all about. Um, so here we go. And just popping on that lovely black um, uh, perspective. 
in um I really love the cursive, the font, the new the font that um Morag's used for this one. And that contrasted with the the uh, the other two font the other two fonts that I've used. So and then I'm just bringing in a couple of these like the little like star type stickers that match that top right white pattern paper. Anyway, I think when the layout's almost done, so I do hope you've enjoyed watching the process. Um, don't forget, pop on over to um, bramblefox.co.uk where you can find out all the details in regards to the fabulous monthly Foxbox subscription and the Foxbox Plus subscription, which has the added Foxcut uh, stencil and paper snips that goes with it. So um, just to add the journaling, and I think I'm done. Here we go, the final layout. Um, some close-ups are coming up in just a moment. Um, you can see the lovely perspectives um, that come with the February Fox Box. And um, I will see you again in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.